Um, let's say you're in the love, spiritual mind. Mm -hmm. You're with someone that's afraid. How would you deal with it? You're with someone who is afraid. You accept it, but of how, course. How would you open them? Why do you want to control them? See, there's no control in love. In love, there's acceptance. If you if you tried like one time um, when I came to Vancouver, uh, I started teaching Course in Miracles. That's how I started, and uh, and I, I I love the text. I love the whole thing. Because it's, it's the teachings of Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi is the same, except the words are different, but the, but the teaching is the same. And when I was teaching this, I used to have, you know, 60, 70 people in group. I used to do it two or three times a week. It's, uh, it was huge. And it was the fad at the time, you know, everybody's doing Course in Miracles. But I used to see this control happening. A woman would come to me and he says, oh, this is beautiful, I'm gonna have, my husband's gonna have to follow it. <laughs> you see, competition again, it, it's control. It's the same thing. If somebody is, 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 is not in tune, so what? Show them, be loving towards them, that love will bring, will, will bring the change. You know, it's a funny thing, um, it's true, there isn't much love in the world. You know, we, we can see that very clearly. But when you are genuine in that state of love, in the, people will recognize it, no matter under what level they're coming, what stage you're coming from. They will recognize it. And you don't have to, to change them, you don't have to even want them to change. That very, that very energy that spews forth from you, you see, becomes a zapping in itself. Yeah. So, uh, the, this question that you've asked is a very common one. How do I change a person? How do I make them see? Um, what gives us the right to want to change a person and to make them see? Do, do, do you understand? Like, everybody is functioning on their own and everything. Do you know that everybody is okay as they are? The only problem is that they don't think so. <laughs> you see? Because they don't accept themselves. But wherever you're coming from, it's perfectly okay. It's perfectly all right. You see? And, and the moment you start to accept them just as they are, they don't have to change. They don't have to be different to be with you. That very acceptance itself, they change when they're with you. And they'll also begin to accept themselves. You see? You know spirituality is the easiest thing in the world? The simplest thing that there is? but we make it complex because we think there are rules of how to be and how to think. There are none. The, the question is, how willing am I to love? See? And that is it. And how much can I trust this love? And I can trust it completely. And it will guide me. I call it my inner guide. Whenever I want answers to anything, whenever I I have a, some topic or something, I ask, I call it love now, okay? I can call it Bhagavan or I call it love. And, and I talk to this love, and this love always comes with an answer. The answer can come in many different ways. It can come while driving, it can come at work. With me, it always often comes either when I'm sleeping, it wakes me up, or when I'm in the washroom. <laughs> <laughs> But it never fails.